Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Are you ready? Fasten your seatbelts. Drivers, start your engines. Race activated. Sheer passion. Change the game forever. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Racing with Celebs. A commonly used motorsport term is early doors. Our word for the day. A popular term used by competitors when referring to the early stages of the series season. Welcome back to season 2 of Racing with Celebs. I'm sure you missed us and if you are new to the show, be sure that after today you will not want to miss an episode. My name is Donovan Clyde, one of your hosts for this exciting show who understands what it means to be a petrol head. During each episode, we will be introducing you to a lot of famous faces. Not only are they celebrities, but some of them actually know where to check the oil. Today we are at Midval Raceway in Mayerton with our first celebrity for Season 2. He is 1.8 meter tall, comes in about 95 kgs. He is Springbok rugby player Lionel Mapu. Before we get tackled or sidestepped by Lionel Mapu, let's check in with our co-presenter Johannes Neyman for a more in-depth look at the track and the cars we will be driving today. Thank you Donovan. Hello and welcome to another season of Racing with Celebs. My name is Johannes Neyman and our category for today is Motel Clubmans. A car without a track is nothing. Join me and I'll show you exactly where we'll be racing today and what the track has in store. Midwell Raceway was purchased by Nino Venturi on the 21st of December in 2009. Nino lives for motorsport and has been involved in Formula Ford for the best part of 34 years. Our category for today is Motel Clubmans. We caught up with Justin Robertson to tell us more about the cars we'll be racing today. Justin, welcome to Racing with Celebs. Thank you very much, great to be here. Can you just tell me a little bit more about modified production cars? There's, there's two categories inside Clubman's, okay, which is the MPCs and Super Saloons. Super Saloons caters for all your purpose-built race cars, your space frames, all those type of cars. And then your MPCs is any production-based car. So anything that's got an original Monocu chassis, whether it be front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive, and any engine combination. That's, that can race in MPCs. So basically we, we've tried to make a class, that's why it's called Clubman's, where you can bring any car that you've got, however it was built, as long as it's built to the right safety standards, you'll find a place for you to come and race with us. But my personal opinion, the best place to start is in the lower classes, because that way the driver learns more how to drive. A lot of people look at motorsports and they think it's very easy, okay? As soon as you start driving on the track, you realize it's a lot more complicated and there's a lot more to it than just driving a car like people drive in the street. Anyone can drive, but racing is a very different technique. So we generally recommend you start in the lower classes because that way you're going to develop your talent and develop your skills much quicker. Often a car that's very fast can hide a lack of driver skills and you tend to not learn as much and it also costs the guy a lot more. When you're driving in the base classes, it's a lot cheaper obviously and you can spend a lot more time practicing and learning and learning the skill of racing than just spending money on the cars. Thank you Justin. It's time to introduce you to our celebrity for today, Lionel Mapu. Lionel, welcome to Racing with Celebs. It's an honor to have you on the show today. Oh, thank you and thank you for having me. It's very good to be here. Will this be your first time or were you on the track before? I've uh, never been on a track before, uh, it's my first time, uh, but I'm excited, I'm excited to see what I can do. 
What are your expectations for today? Uh, just to have a good lap, so obviously get into it. Uh, yeah, and not to go off track. <laughs> <laughs> and do you enjoy fast cars? I see you've got a beautiful car. So. I enjoy speed, I enjoy speed, obviously. Uh, this is a different ball game. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to what I can do on, on the track. I know this might be new to you. It's now time for that briefing that you don't have in rugby. The safety briefing. <laughs> <laughs> it is new, take me through it. <laughs> Stay buckled in your seats as we take Lionel Mapu around the track of Midval with the Motel Clubmans. This is certainly a different lineup for Lionel Mapu, our incredible rugby player from the Golden Lions. Let's see whether or not he's able to go up against uh, some of uh, the finest drivers that we've got on Racing with Celebs. You can see a little bit of concern there from him. I'm wondering if he's going to be able to run with uh, the likes of uh, Paul Fonikirk, Warren Fenton, Jan van der Feyf, Rowan Ellers, etc. as they get into it here with the Motel Clubmans. But remember now, he would have been taken out and Paul Van Eekirk actually put him into the car to show him the capabilities of what these cars can do. Now remember, sometimes that can be a good or it can be a bad thing. Because if you do get into a car and, being, and get shown what a car can do by a racing driver, a seasoned competitor, normally that kind of fires you up. And if uh, you can keep it all together, we'll wait and see whether Lionel has got what it takes now. You can see him just in the back here, getting to grips with the main pack. Johan van der Feyfer out there, Manny de Silva, Roan Ellis just ahead of him by the looks of things. But the 105 car, that is the car that is being piloted by Lionel Mapu. Now, of course, he comes from a wing or possibly a fullback position and uh, also plays centre on occasions as well, as we can see him on board here in Shane Kruen's car. Good driving there, back onto the steering wheel. That's a good thing down the back straight. And uh, now out front, looks like, uh, yes, uh, Subaru leading, leading things out now. The rest of the pack starting to get into the mix there as well. Little golfs all involved in this Motel Clubman's category. We've seen it on a few occasions. Yeah, we're seeing Shane Cruen in full effect in one of his cars. Remember, Lionel is in one of his cars and Shane is in the other one as they're now starting to get in the thick of it. Ellis now starting to make his way past and uh, getting to uh, grips with the circuit. Tire temperatures coming up. And as, they tie, as those tire temperatures come up, of course, more grip available to the cars and possibly closer racing that's going to be happening here. This is a good start here from Lionel. He's, uh, yes, he's at the back of the field, but of course, that's exactly what you kind of expect with racing with celebs, and particularly when you're in amongst a pack of Motel Clubman seasoned veterans. These guys and girls that race in this category hold nothing back. Here's Lionel as we go on board with him out of turn one. And uh, just missing the gear changes there. Got to get those gear changes a bit quicker, but not too bad. And ran a little bit wide because of that, so he hasn't quite hit the apex here of turn two. But does make up some ground now as he comes out of turn three. And out of turn three now, heading up onto that very, very tricky corner. Double left-hander that brings them onto the back straight. Rest of the pack a little bit further up. They're already into the complex and starting to close things down there. Wayne Pereira fighting with uh, Johan Stam and Paul Verrius out there too. And a nice pack of guys coming out to be part of Racing with Celebs. And we do appreciate the support that came out of our Motel Clubman category. Motel, of course, now jumped on as the headline sponsor for the Clubmans. And they've been... Uh, putting on fantastic racing at every single one of the circuits that they race at. They're all part and parcel of the Inland Championship and continue to give great action to the crowds that usually come out. Now, of course, with being in lockdown, we haven't had many crowds and we don't expect too many crowds just yet. But as soon as we do get back into a racing proper, this is certainly a category you'd like to come and watch. Normally, there's about 35 or 40 cars lined up on the grid in various categories from Class A right the way down to Class E. And uh, they all go at it. It's a fantastic little class and there's certainly some of the best action coming out of uh, this saloon car class. They normally run with uh, the super saloons as well on occasion. And every now and again they get a couple of sports cars thrown into the mix as well. But it's great to see the action that can come. Right now it's all about uh, Lionel. And Lionel Mapu slowly but surely uh, making his way into the mid pack. He's actually got ahead of one of the golfs there I think if I'm not mistaken. And slowly but surely being reeled in are these front cars. Nice run here so far from uh, our front cars as they start to come in amongst those back markers. The BMW of Manny De Silva just taking it easy at the stage but being eaten up there big time by the lead pack. 
And now Johan van der Feyf is starting to put the pressure on. Van der Feyf is starting to close onto the back end of those two golfs and the Honda. Subaru works in presser. Oh, here we go. Vanikirk up for the challenge. Can he dive on the inside and find a way past? Yes, he can. Good move there. Oh, it's so tight between the two of them there. Fenton and Fenica going at it. Fenton starting to close that gap down. So a nice four-way battle for the front end of what is usually a pack of about 40 cars in the Motel Clubmans. And now closing things down, under braking. It's getting a lot closer there, that is for sure. Warren Fenton in the JDM tuning Honda. Looking for a chance now to once again upset the, uh, the usual state of affairs. It's Volkswagen versus Honda and it has been in a long and uh, tedious battle in this category for a couple of seasons now. Back on board with our celeb. And line on the poo, well, you can see taking it easy down that long straight. One hand on the steering wheel, one hand on his leg. Not quite the way you want to be driving that car, sir. You've got to try and keep it uh, two hands on the steering wheel at all times in a race car. It's not quite the same as when you're driving on the highway where you can relax a little bit. You've got to have you know, your eyes and ears uh, focused at all times, especially when the cars are coming through and putting pressure onto you. And I think Lionel might just be feeling the effects there of those cars coming through now, losing a little bit of ground as they come through into the final corner. So, can the center or winger do anything about the lead and possibly keep these two cars behind him? Good move there, the 130 car is Snayman. Snayman applying the pressure, trying to find a way past. He can't find it just yet. So it's quite tight here between these two guys. Snayman diving on the inside now, Mapu hangs on. Pressure being applied. Is this going to be possibly too much pressure for the winger to handle? Good start here as he comes on to turn four. Turn four, double left-hander. That takes them onto that back straight. The back straight here, of course, is used not only for the circuit racing that happens here at Midval, but also for some big drag racing events that happen here too. And they put on some superb, superb drag racing events here with Nino and his team. Good drive there. And looks like, oh, yeah, good move. Coming from Slayman. Slayman going to try and go left and down the main straight, just getting that golf one just ahead of the polo. That polo now under a bit of pressure. Late braking required. Can he go around the outside? Oh, he might have run in there a little bit too hot. I think that's a possibility of going into it. Yes, he has. He's rolled it. Oh, man, he's going to go into uh, the complex. And then, in fact, he actually has rolled it. I thought he might have rolled in there a little bit too hot, but he's rolled it and gone over once or twice. Let's have a look at it from Lionel's point of view. You can see he's just trying to push it. He looks on the left-hand side, misses the braking point, tries to get down the gearbox, but at this stage, he then just has to roll off. And in fact, in a front-wheel drive, which they may have possibly told him, he should have kept it buried through there. And there you go. Over it goes. Great to see instantaneous reaction from our safety car and a couple of the drivers actually pulling over almost instantaneously as well to try and help out. The red flag is out though and that means we're going to pull this race and have to close it off. You can see Lionel just climbing into the safety car and being taken off just for a check there. Great to see uh, all of our sponsors getting behind, uh, of course, the support and the safety side of things here with Racing with Celebs. Eventually Paul Van Eekuk was given the win ahead of Fenton and Van der Feyfer. Ellis takes it from Pereira and a good drive there from Jan Snemo. A little bit of work to do for the Sambra guys now. And of course, uh, that is our RMI group that look after our sponsorship here. Let's catch up with Lionel down in pit lane. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was going down the straight fast. I didn't. Well, I went on the brakes and I probably should have stood on the brakes. I went too fast into that corner. Coming around, I just felt I was sliding. And I must. Then I tried to turn the steering back and. Then everything, the rest was history and it was, the car just rolled. Fortunately the car is built very safely and uh, the man has been able to get back out onto track. This time out in one of the little golf ones now. So Lionel will get a second shot at this as they head down towards turn number one. He looks like he might just be outgunned down towards turn one there. The two turbo golfs probably going to go around the outside. Then it's the Subaru and then Lionel tucks in there to about fifth place and pushes as hard as he can. But you can see he's going to probably have a little bit of uh, butterflies in the stomach right now. Doesn't want to make the same kind of mistake. He's not the first man to roll a race car. He certainly won't be the last. So take nothing away from her ability to get out of the car. Fortunately, had all the right safety equipment on as we do here in uh, Racing with Celebs. So you can see he's taking it a bit more gingerly though. He's certainly not pushing it as hard as what he was earlier on in the polo. But uh, also possibly ability of just maybe a bit of instruction for him as we see Paul Fonico giving it everything he can. Here's a man who usually runs at the front end and have a listen to those wastegates opening up on that turbo. Oh, that's magic stuff. 
That is proper cool. Full flight in the Golf 1 Turbo. And uh, looking for a chance now to possibly take the second victory of the day. But he's not going to have it all his own way. He's certainly going to have Fenton on his tail and Fana Feifer just behind him as well there. And uh, Fana Feifer, of course, season campaigner now in that Devland machine, the Subaru Works Impressor, sitting in second with uh, Fenton on his tail. Nice run, though, so far. And remember, if you want to be catching up with Lionel Mapu, he's uh, one of the Golden Lions uh, rugby players from uh, uh, the uh, Super Rugby. And he's now moved on from his hometown in Port Elizabeth to, uh, of course, do all of his rugby playing internationally at Stade Francais. So uh, we wish him all the very best. If you do want to follow him, he's at number 13, Lionel Mapu 14 on Twitter. And it's Lionel Mapu on Instagram if you want to catch up on any one of his social media handles. I'm sure he'll be posting a couple of things up there and hopefully going to be posting that role because <laughs> if you ever want to get great traction on social media, put up a car crashing. And particularly if it's you driving it, you're going to get lots of traction on that one. And remember, hashtag Racing with Celebs and put in all those hashtags for our sponsors as well. We do appreciate all the support on social media. And we definitely know he's had a great day in the saddle, particularly now in the golf. Maybe not so much in that polo. If you want to check out more action and more behind the scenes, make sure you check out our Facebook page, Racing with Celebs, on Facebook for all of that additional and vital information on our celebrities. And while it's the uh, battle for second we're watching at this stage, Fenton looking for a way to get through on front of Faithful but hasn't found it yet. Looks like that Subaru's got just a slight more turn of pace down the straight. Fenton's good in the uh, twisty bits, particularly here in the complex. He closes in on the all-wheel drive car, but uh, looks like that little Honda just doesn't have enough squirt to get through, and they're definitely not going to catch for Nico. That little bit of extra turbo power he's got in his car is certainly going to keep him at the front end for uh, the last couple of laps here of the second race with Racing with Celebs. Modal Clubman's in the house here at Midvale. A massive thanks again to Nino and his team for giving us this opportunity. And they come down onto the breaking point now. Only a couple of corners to go there for Paul Fennikirk. Fun to Faith for still in a bit of a battle for second. And Fenton, oh, closing rapidly there. Under breaking for turn one. Warren Fenton is certainly looking for a chance now to put that Honda into second. Remember I mentioned it earlier on, the battle between Volkswagen and Honda has been rife in this category for a couple of seasons now. And now with Fun of Faith for throwing that Subaru into the mix, makes it three different manufacturers looking for the uh, overall honours here in Motel Clubman's. Fun of Faith has got good drive though. Fenton maybe just uh, cooking those tyres a bit as he came through turn four onto the back straight. Everything she's got now down that back straight. Great drive here from Lionel Mapu. As I said, probably just took it a lot more gingerly. In fact, he's definitely taken it a lot more gingerly here. Doesn't want to have the same mistake in this uh, second heat. Just wants to finish this one up, get to the end of this one, and ensure that his uh, exciting day of racing comes to a good close. Benta now coming into the closing stages. Can he find a way past on Fana Feifer? Fana Feifer just going defensive on every occasion, placing that Subaru to perfection. Lights ablaze as he comes through. Check it, flag is out. It's for Nikuk to take the win. Relatively easily and unscathed ahead of Johan van der Feifer, who eventually hung on and got through to keep out Warren Fenton. Fenton into third place ahead of Ellers. Verios. Lanham Poof is up in sixth place and Shane Kroen down in seventh here for race number two. Let's go down in the pit lane and catch up with our celeb and see how the rest of his day is gone here at Midval. <laughs> yeah, Johan, uh, it was nice, it was fun. Uh, this time around I was more experienced, <laughs> so I knew what to expect. So I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I must say uh, the polo, was I felt more power in the polo, I don't know. I'm not a professional racer, but I felt the polo I could, I could actually handle more. Uh, this one is also good, obviously this time around I knew what to expect, so I was a little bit cautious going into the corners. Uh, but I got a lot of uh, speed uh, on the back there. Join us after the break as Johan catches up with the incredible Lionel Mapu and finds out what his rugby career has been up to in the last season. We are back with Lions and Springbok rugby player Lionel Mapu. Lionel, you were born in PE, matriculated in Bloom. Was rugby always part of the plan? Uh, no, actually. I come actually from, uh, from a small town in the Eastern Cape, uh, Thornhill. Uh, 
I used to run, like I did like long distance running. So I think I don't think at that time rugby wasn't part of the plan. I think when I moved to Bloemfontein, and that's where rugby became more of like a thing for me. And and well, since then it's just been like history. What about the game of rugby draws you to it? Just I, I love the sport. Like ever since I started playing rugby, I love the sport. Uh, you know, and it's just. The, people think, okay, now you get hurt when you when you go on the field and people tackle you. But uh, that's it's about the adrenaline and you know you can step people, you can tackle people. It's just fun. It's just <laughs> something you want to do every day. No, absolutely. As as a rugby player, do you enjoy watching other sports? I do. I do actually. Uh, I think my second sport after rugby would be basketball. I watch a lot of basketball. But then I watch a lot of soccer as well, because some of my friends love soccer, so I watch soccer as well. So And cricket, obviously, sometimes also. What music do you enjoy listening to? Uh, I'd like to think of my, as, as myself as a versatile person. I, I, well, I, I listen to R&B and hip-hop, but I can obviously I can adapt to like house, you know, dubstep. You know, I, I like have a variety that, that I do listen to. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm very versatile in, when it comes to music. In your spare time, because I know rugby players are extremely busy, you know, it's sponsorship, things that you need to attend to. If you have spare time, what do you like to do just to you know, sit back and say it's Lionel's time? Uh, that would probably be in front of a PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Either playing a racing game or a sport game. Or, yeah, and obviously uh, with the family as well. I enjoy spending time with my family in my spare time. So that's, that's mostly what I do, I spend time. You'll, Preferably you'll find me in front of, on the couch in front of the TV with my PlayStation, if not you'll find me with my family. <laughs> How would you describe yourself in three words? Uh, fast, the... fast, fast. <laughs> <laughs> I wish when I was younger I was, I was much faster than I am now. <laughs> but fast is one of them. <laughs> yeah, determined. Yes, I'm very focused as well. Uh, yeah, and as yes, you know, just like uh, I'm, I'm determined, I'm focused and, and I know what I want. And, yeah, and I just the work hard really to get it. Nano? Thank you for your time today. You, All Thank of you. the best for the future and enjoy it. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed all the action here from Midvale. We head across to SWAT Cops for the next edition and we catch up with Farney de Villiers, a fast bowler. Can he be fast in a Nash sport? We'll wait and see. Join us on Racing with Celebrities. We hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you would like more information about our celebrity, the show, sponsors or categories, please visit our website www.racingwithcelebs.co.za or our Facebook page Racing With Celebs. Till next time, keep it safe. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Make sure you catch all the action from Racing with Celebrities, episode number two, as we catch up with one of South Africa's fastest bowlers. That's right, South African cricketer Farney de Villiers jumps into a Nash sport at SWAT Cops for this edition of Racing with Celebrities.